so hello everyone now we have covered who am i command uh, and i have also shown you like um, we have also seen that after writing who am i and who what uh, the output is coming so now let's move quickly to the next command now we have the ls command ls command is most commonly used because if we are if you don't know what this folder consist and how many folder exist or how many files or how many directories exist so ls command is the most important command to find it out okay so one of the most useful commands in kali linux is the ls command the ls command lists the directory content of files and directories with the help of ls command we can easily list out every hidden file of a directory with a hyphen a attribute and for more details output we can use the hyphen l attribute that's why we write ls hyphen al so let's uh, let's understand this that how it works so if i am writing ls and writing hyphen al so let's see so i can see so many functionality so many commands present here okay with a detailed output and the configurations okay so verb suit what what uh, internal functionalities we have what downloads documents we have so everything is listing here now next is cat so basically cat in uh, it's 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 called cat uh and its pronunciation is also cat but uh it's not a real cat it's concatenation because in the programming as well as in it world cat is not used for cat animal <laughs> it's used for concatenation so it's a command is is one of the kali's linux most commonly used commands permitting us to create single or many files concatenate files in redirect view contains of the file output in terminal or files so let's understand what actually the the particular command says okay because it concatenates the files so let's understand how it concatenates okay echo and now we write in double quotes hello everyone and then we'll come out put a slash and then we'll write file dot txt i think txt is here yeah so we'll enter it uh so it means uh, hello everyone is written in file dot txt okay now to get more details of it what we have to do we have to concatenate so how we will be concatenated cat file dot txt hello everyone okay so it simply means we have just written hello everyone and then we have uh, uh, gone with file.txt so concatenate function has done what it's just combined that now let's move to the next part of it now we have the most common thing as mkdir so mkdir command is used to create directories for example if we wish to create a directory named penetration testing under the documents directory i can write anything okay so then we have to open a terminal and enter the below command mkdir and then we can write a of my choice like i can write hacking enter so it will be saving as a folder here okay now you can see like suppose we can go in uh, documents because under the document it creates like this so cd documents we are going ls and we can see files we have flower i think it is not saved uh, let me check again 
Okay, we have to create like this CD uh, documents and then we have to do MKDIR tracking. I think now LS we can do. Yeah, okay. So I was actually putting this command outside. So we have to put this command inside documents and I have done that. So that folder or the file is created. Okay. Now let's move to the next part of it. RM. RM is used uh, to delete the files. It can be used to delete directories when used recursively. Okay, so what we have to do is we just have to delete the files. So I'll, I'll suppose uh, delete this file only, files written here. So what I have to do is I just simply put, because I'm not going into desktop, I'm just going into files. So here, CD files. Okay, so I'm not because it, uh, it is empty, I guess. RM. I'll do RM here. RM. RM. Flower.jpg. Now let's see by LS. Yeah, see. Uh, Flower.jpg file is re removed from this. So LM, uh, sorry, RM functionality is this to delete. Now we have MV commands. With the help of MV commands, we can move or rename files and directories on our file system. So now we, uh, what we have to do, we can remove, uh, sorry, we can rename or we can move that file. So what I'll do is, uh, we can move particular thing, uh, like suppose, CD testing files strings are not allowed so it will be taking any kind of image but since I have removed the image because uh, that's why I'm not able to take that okay okay I'll do wait CD hacking Okay, string not in PWD. All right, so it will be taking image. Uh, so what we have to do, we just have to, if we have to rename or move, we, we can use such command. Okay, and for this, what I, I can do is, I can do simply as MV and hacking and I'll do as let's see so instead of hacking its name is changed as happy so hope you like this tutorial please do the practice and next video will come soon and comment below that how you like the video because this is these videos these two videos are very much basic for those students who actually are starting the kali linux for the first time so hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much